are you looking for a way to decrease the size of any file whether a video file an image a pdf well keep on watching because in this video i'm going to share with you five different websites that you can use to decrease or compress any file at all hi you're welcome to our channel once again if this happens to be your first time here kindly consider subscribing to the channel because we put out a lot of videos like this teaching you some of the secret things and the softwares how to use certain softwares to do what you want to do i'm dr Ronel obed and as i've mentioned already in this video i'm going to share with you five different websites that can help you compress any file at all so if it is a huge video file that you have and you want to reduce the size or it's an image file that you want to share with your friends but it's very huge in size you can equally use any of these websites to help you reduce it to a shareable limit so that you can easily share it on the internet so let's get into the computer and i'll show you exactly how to do this okay so these we are going to talk about the five different sites that we are going to use websites I'll quickly go through all the five of them, then I'll show you practically how it is done with every one of them. So the very first one we are talking about is recompress. So you can go to recompress.com. I know I'm going to be giving out the various URLs to the websites I'm talking about. I will link them in the description. So just check the description for a link to them all get your pen and write them down so that you can visit it at any point in time when you need to compress a file so the first one is be compressed that is at recompress.com the second one is you compress funny the first one was we the two of us okay then the second one is you you compress anyway that was just by the way so you compress.com is also another site then compress to go is the third one compressed to go the fourth one is cloud press o cloudpresso.com and finally we have compress triple s compress.com all right so let me quickly jump into the let me quickly jump into the each of them how to use it let me explain it to you so this is the very first one we compress the first one that i talked about so go to you compress those code usually when you come you are asked to select the language that you want to use i've already selected english language that is why this is showing so now you are being asked if it is a pdf whether a powerpoint a word document an excel an image file which could be in the form of a jpeg a png any of them but for recompress you can only uh, compress files up to 50 megabytes okay if the file size is greater than that is going to be very difficult so for instance you can't really compress videos with recompress but if you have an image file which is like 32 megabytes and you want to decrease it to like five megabytes you can do it here with recompress so while you go about it is to click this plus icon and select the image or that particular document that you are looking for to compress it all right the next one that we talked about was you compress so this is you compress and equally you would upload the file by selecting your file clicking the select file go and select the file then uh, click the upload file compress so after you select it you have to click this button to also upload the file then you compress it it will automatically compress it for you the next thing the compress to go.com compress to go.com so for compress to go.com we have a variety of files that you can compress and just the interface tells you all of the files at a go you can see that we can compress documents you can compress images you can compress videos and zip files okay so even when you have a compressed file which is a zip file you have a compressed file which is a zip file you can also compress it further so um let's 
if for each of them let's say if you have a video that you want to compress you just have to select compress video if it is any other item you have to click on that particular item now that you've selected that you want to compress a video there are ways that you can go about it it could be that you have the video sitting somewhere on your own hard drive in your computer so by the if that is the case you just will go and drop or drag it and drop it here so for instance if i have an image you no know, since we've chosen a video if i have a video i can just go and select the video and upload it here and when i click the start it will start compressing it on the other hand we can have a video with a url so if i have a video on youtube but i want to compress it i want to decrease the size of that video i'll bring the url i'll choose enter url put the url there and it would compress that video for us you can equally use a video from dropbox or google drive if you have your file stored there so for any type at any type of document at all so if it is a pdf you can select compress pdf image archive files any of them you can do it with this the fourth one is cloud press o so for cloud press o2 we have image compressors video compressor document and apk compressor what does it mean for apk compressor that is your android apps okay the setup of your android apps what somebody can share with you so that when you click on it your app will be installed on your phone that is the apk so if you want to share an apk to somebody or an android app setup to someone and it's a huge file you just come here select apk compressor then you would upload the apk file here to decrease the size or reduce the size then you can share it with the person that you want so depending on what type of file you want to decrease after you have copied it here you can click select files one good thing about cloud Presso is that you can compress multiple files at a go so you can have up to about 10 different files together just drop all of them here and is going to compress them for you you can also bring files from google drive or dropbox you can click on any of these icons to bring files from there to compress them as well then finally we have compress with a triple s compress.com so with compress.com on your left hand side you choose the type of file that you are coming to you so is it a well a website file that's an html a css what documents are you having is it an image if it's an image you choose whether it's a jpeg image a png a gif if it is a document what type of document is it a pdf a word a powerpoint if it's a video to video when you click on video you just select any of them so it could be an mp4 video file a uh, mov mkv any of them it will be able to compress them so once you select the type of file that you want to compress you can just drag it and drop it here or click within here and go and select that particular one that you were looking for so here are the five websites that you can use to compress any file that you want i hope you have learned something new and you enjoyed this video if you did give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel in fact if you want more of such videos do want to subscribe to the channel once again i am dr ewenia obed and i'll see you in the next video